How's it going there, Cuckleberry Finn? My name is James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV Mailroom, which is TFB TV's least viewed, but perhaps most beloved series. The gist is I open your shitty fan mail and I typically have to drink to cope with it. So today what we have here, and this one, I can't wait for this one, boys. I can't wait for it because I know that this is gonna make some collective heads explode. They make this right down the street, and I feel like I say that pretty often, but seriously, I live maybe a mile away from about a half dozen breweries, and it's awesome. They make it right down the street at Port Orleans Brewing Company. This is the Strawberry Margarita Goza. Doesn't have like a clever, funny name, anything like that. They're just straight up calling it what it is. I love it. Strawberry Margarita Goza. There's no way that this can be good. Ooh, that's thick. That's thick. Got some sediment in there. A little nervous about this one. That is goddamn amazing. This is one of the best beers I've ever had on Mailroom. That is delicious. Might be a two for today, boys. This one's going down a little smooth. Might get another one in a second here. Cat hair. So open mail, but we also kind of talk about news and we do our giveaways. Real quick, on the giveaways, as you know, we give away three $100 Blue Alpha Gear gift certificates. Maybe four, I can't remember, but I'm gonna go ahead and flash those winners. The only way you can win, you can't sign up to win that, the only way you can win is if you're a Patreon supporter. $1, $2, $5, $10 level, Patreon or Subscribestar, we prefer Subscribestar. To be clear, if you're on Patreon or Subscribestar and you're supporting TFB TV, you are automatically entered to win a $100 Blue Alpha Gear gift certificate, one of three every month or four, whatever it is. Speaking of automatically entered, if you're at the five or $10 level on subscribe store or Patreon, you're automatically entered every single month to win a free gun. And we're doing, we're giving away four guns. Right now we're at a little over 2000 supporters. And what we previously were doing were for every 500 supporters, we were giving away one gun. It's gotten to the point where now it's kind of like really expensive and a little bit of a pain in the ass. So we're gonna cut it at four. Uh, you know, obviously maybe if we hit like 3000 subs, maybe we'll open up to five. I don't know. We'll see. But we got something special for you this month. You guys saw the Gen 1 Glock 17 that was reintroduced by Glock in conjunction with Lipsy's. They're probably sold out of them, uh, but Lipsy's gave me one to give to you guys. So very cool of Lipsy's to do that. If you guys want to get one, again, I'm not sure they're still around, but I would go to Lipsy's website and then do their dealer finder and see if like you have a local dealer and if they can get one, if Lipsy still has them. I know that they did like, I think they're doing 10,000 and they did like a first run of 5,000 and I think the second one's coming in later. So get in where you fit in, like try to find out if you can get one if you want one. So I didn't do a video in August, so we're gonna do August and September, we're giving away uh, eight guns, I guess. So you've got your choice of a gun or a $350 gift certificate to Top Gun Supply. Uh, Tom will send you like a list of guns. There's not a lot in stock right now, but he does like guns and ammo. And if you don't like any of them, then you can take a $350 gift certificate. Everybody wins. However, the most senior of you, like whoever has been a supporter for the longest, you will have the option of whether or not you want to get something from Top Gun Supply or the gift certificate or the Glock 17, that Gen 1 Glock 17 in the Tupperware, the P80 edition, I highly recommend that you take that over anything else. If you guys wanna win, it's easy. Just go to patreon.com slash tfbtv or subscribestar.com slash tfbtv. Go and sign up. All right, I'm sorry, gents, that was a lot of shit, so we're gonna get straight into opening mail now. Look at this, look at what I got. Look at this one. Can't even fit in the frame. Uh, this showed up in my office and our receptionist was like, dude, what the hell is that? I think I'm gonna open this one last. So we'll open a couple of these bad boys first. Here we go, here's a custom ink. So I know that this is gonna be a t-shirt. James, you and the missus have an affinity for possums, AKA night squirrels. We do, I'm not sure if you guys know that, but we feed the possums in our backyard here in New Orleans, they're, they're everywhere. Uh, I don't see it, but glad to know that you don't have that kind of love for the Nutria rat. We don't. You are the king. Regards, Fred S. You're the king, Fred. Thank you for sending in this. What is it? Oh, my God. 
a little big. <laughs> yeah, King. Jesus Christ. Fred, this is an XL. Come on. I'm schmedium all the way. I still love the shirt, and I will claim the title of New Orleans Possum King. Thanks a ton, Fred. This is the sound you don't want to hear. Hear that? There's a bunch of crap in here. It says, make love, not boogaloo. I'm sorry, man. You sent this on January. It says, from Josh. I am just opening it now. God, I hope nothing in here is perishable. There's probably like little things of cottage cheese in here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, front and back. Okay, I'm going to try to read this as fast as possible with this shitty handwriting. Hey, James, what's up, man? I've been a big fan of TFB TV ever since I first found it some years back. It's become a daily read. Okay, cool. Uh, this is my first time writing, and I want to thank you for doing such a cool thing. This blog is very unfortunate, informative, and educational. While I don't agree that the Glock is the best gun out, it's okay, we all have the right to be wrong. I am glad that you gave the Takarev its credit when you reported it still being in production. This is my personal favorite semi-auto out of everything I've tried so far. Okay, hipster. God, Californian. It would have to be. That's the only fucking handgun you can get over there, probably. I would like it to be featured as a photo of the day because I have some beautiful custom grips from something grips of Budapest, Hungary, anyways. I started my own YouTube channel called California Survival, which is about me living off-grid, rebuilding an old cabin into my home and various other adventures. Okay, cool. So like John Connor meets Ted Kaczynski. I like it. My God, you're going to make a bodysuit out of me, aren't you? You sick son of a bitch. You see this golden skin every couple of weeks and then you're like, yeah, that guy, he'd look really good. Like his skin would look good on my face. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Unbelievable. Although it's not a gun channel, it'll be featured eventually in the... Oh my God, I thought it said the news. It's like, dude, you're just ratcheting up the creep factor. Can't wait to see side B of this letter. Um, and eventually some hunting, I bet. I bet. The most dangerous game, right? I appreciate any support that comes from this letter. You'll get like three new subscribers. But, I mean, that's probably doubling your subscriber count at this point. Josh... California survival. Here's the B side. I was also interested in writing up some review articles of various Millsurp and sporting guns. I get, I get my hands on. Please email me at email address if you're interested. Looking forward to sending the futuristic rifle. Seeing the finished build. Um, your handwriting's not that bad, but it's not that good either. Hope you enjoy these two stouty boys and the chocolate shots. Not going to do any chocolate shots. You don't get to maintain a skinnable body like this whenever you're having chocolate liquor shots <laughs> that have been sitting in my P.O. box since January especially. Okay, and we got some old Rasputin. I'm sure that this stuff is going to hold up just fine over the test of time. It is at least air-conditioned in the post office. Thank you very much for writing in. Please don't kill me or any of my family. Next. Got to boom this after this one. Mmm. Huh? Mmm, that's good. God damn. Who would have known strawberry margarita would be so good as beer? I mean, strawberry margarita is already pretty good by itself, so I guess it just makes logical sense, right? Okay. James Reeves, communications are TFB TV. James, I'm very happy with how the new tier one patch turned out. However, I've been haunted by the image of the other design I sent you and against my better judgment, decided to bring that nightmare into reality, although in admittedly less expensive format. Behold, the TFB Equestria Edition sticker. Oh, Christ. Beneath its glossy visage lies a gruesome vignette of friendship and magic that will drive the mighty into madness and the desperate to their doom. This image is nothing less than a rainbow-tinted portal to the land of wind and ghosts. I mean, is this, am I about to open the Holy Grail? Look at my works and despair. You forgot to throw your ye mighty in there. Pro tip, adds plus 10 to virginity when worn on clothing, can, can confirm. I've enclosed a dozen just so you can share them with your friends, enemies, secret lovers, or you need to give your wife a little more flair. Yes, I know, not that she needs it. Seriously, seriously, Mike, this is what we're working with here. My Little Pony. 
First, I got Buffalo goddamn Bill writing me uh, about from his shed in California off the grid, probably fucking living down the street right now, because that was back in January. He's clearly made his way across the country and has been digging through my trash every night. Now we've got My Little Pony. You guys are sick fucks, you know that? All right, we'll open a letter, then we'll hit the big one. Matthew Yu from Ardmore, Alabama. Sounds like God's country to me. God, please deliver some stability to this edition of Mailroom. This thing has, has gotten off the rails right out of the gate. All right, see, here we go. Nice, tasteful, brief letter uh, here, not ripped out of a trapper keeper and front and back. And uh, we got some patches here. Uh, I love it. Legible handwriting. James. These patches were worn on my uniform throughout the back half of my career. I spent most of my time at Bragg, Matt. I don't know what to say. Um, dude, this is way too generous. Um, look, if, if your kids ever want these back or whatever, I don't deserve this. I'm gonna put them, uh, they'll, they'll get a special place of honor and the patch wall. I know I joke around a lot on TFB TV mailroom, but I think a gesture like this deserves a moment of solemnity. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to express my gratitude to you guys, all of you, any of you, just for watching. You don't have to be a subscribe star supporter, or Patreon or whatever. I'm just happy that you're watching. I do this shit because I love it. Uh, that's why we don't take money from manufacturers. That's why you don't see me pimping like, you know, security cameras or fucking cell phone video games or anything like that. I do it because I love it. And I think you guys know that I work for a company. This isn't my YouTube channel. I work, it's my honor to work for the firearm blog and it's my honor to work for you guys. So uh, stuff like this, I mean, I'm kind of a pussy, so I'm touched right now. Uh, let's go ahead and Fix that right up by opening what surely has to be. This has got to be, I mean, all the clues are there. It's lightweight. It says, do not stab box, underlined. Oh, there's a letter here. It says open first. Let's go ahead and do that. Just kidding. I wasn't going to do that. Ah, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, good, this is pictures, or bad, I don't know. Dear James, this is like that envelope that you get like on every movie and they open it up and it's like security pictures of them or like, you know, like with a male prostitute and their Jeep Wrangler down off Chapatua Street by the old abandoned warehouse, you know what I mean? Like that's, it looks like there's like a blackmail envelope. Dear James, my name is also James, great name, so is my dad's. And I reside in the great 2A state of Idaho, home of Seekins Precision, Potatoes, and the Boise State Broncos. God, are those those obnoxious assholes that have that neon blue football field? I was going to send a couple of tickets for you and the wife so you could come watch FSU lose on the famous blue, okay, it is you. Famous blue turf, but COVID. What are you gonna do, am I right? I know, dude, we just played Georgia Tech yesterday, got our asses beat. Like, it's gonna be a long drought for the mighty Seminoles for a long time coming. Anyways, I'm a huge follower of TFB TV and of yours in general. Well, thank you. You should get your head checked out, but thank you. Your win the fight and Guns of SOCOM series are huge factors in several of my firearms and firearm accessories purchases. That makes me really happy to hear. That's why we do that. And again, you know, like beating a dead horse here, but that's why we do the whole like non-biased shit. Want to give you guys good advice. I'm glad you're listening to it because this is all shit that I had to go through too when I'm like obsessing over my AR build or what have you. I love your brand of humor information. My wife loves the short shorts. Hey, oh, I'm sure you noticed the huge box this letter was attached to, obviously. And I'm sorry that I had to send it to your office, but it was the only physical address I could find for you. And that's okay. I mean, obviously I put the P.O. box address in every mailroom video. So, I mean, context clues, buddy. But that said, you guys are always welcome to send stuff to my office, just no human secretions or anything. Um, I also enclosed a few pictures of Hank Bachmeyer to rub salt in the wounds. I don't even know, how can you rub salt in my wounds? I don't even know who this asshole is. Don't get too upset though, at least the ACC at the time of this being written is still planning on playing the season. Thanks again, you and all of the TFBTV team's great content. 
Thanks again for all you and the TFB TV team's great content, James. If you're ever in the great state of Idaho or passing through on your way to Yellowstone, hit me up. We'll get some food. James, I would love to. Guys, I'm always... The only thing that stops me from meeting every single one of you is time. <laughs> so I think you all know, many of you have probably been to meetups. Speaking of, I'm going to be in Fountain Valley, California in, I want to say, two weeks. I'm going to be filming at Surefire, their factory over there. So if you guys are over there, you want to get some fish tacos or some beer that is an IPA, you sick son of a bitch. What the hell is this? A banner. I'm sure there's more in here, but let's see what this is. Oh, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Just in time for kickoff. We're about to beat Tom Brady's old crippled ass. Look at that. It's so big, can't even fit in the frame. That's what she said. Not to me, ever. Oh, please be a giant oil painting of Drew Brees. True story, I have a small oil painting of Drew Brees in my office. Oil painting. Oh my God, these goddamn, I just cleaned this office today. This better be worth it. There's a million packing peanuts all over the floor now. Oh my God. So with a name like James, I expected a lot a lot from you, especially with a package this big. I was thinking to myself, this is going to be something good. James, this ended up being something excellent. Can you guys see that? This is a wrapped canvas. I think it's hand painted. I'm not quite sure. Pretty sure it's, it's got to be hand painted. A map of Middle Earth. We're just going to cancel mailroom. Not only is it getting dangerous, but I got two of the best packages I've ever received. James, thank you so much for this. Unfortunately, I already have one hanging up in the house and in my office. So this is going to be my third map of the realm of Middle Earth. I'm appreciative, but I don't want you to think that this means any less to me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Gun winners, congratulations. It's probably going to be a I'll follow up with you in a couple of days. I also need to get another strawberry margarita beer. Love you guys. Take care.